Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports revealed one of their biggest flaws in FIFA 23 yesterday with some of the content that was dropped. It's making cards go extinct on the market and it's making a fun objective complicated and difficult. I want to take you guys through that ECL objective that was dropped yesterday and why prices are going extinct on the market. And of course, look forward into today on Tuesday. We got guaranteed team of the season upgrade packs dropping today. And there may be the return of those 15K Serie A store player picks that could really impact those Serie A Tots cards on the market today. And we'll continue to talk about the market where prices are going down as we still have a lot of panic selling ahead of ultimate team of the season. So a lot to go over in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's look at yesterday's content really quickly. It was an upgrade pack Monday as expected in EA Sports. They did it again, man. The 80 plus player pick is back and that is such a nice SBC to see released. We can now stack 80 plus player picks for ultimate team of the season that will be coming this Friday. I'm thinking ahead already towards that, but even for the upgrade pack grind this week and just getting fodder in general, there are a lot of player SBCs that are out right now. Not all of them great value, but it just makes crafting a whole lot better this week. Uh, 80 plus player pick, of course, was the really big part of that. But the Serie A premium upgrades, not bad. I'll say it, man. I packed four team of the seasons yesterday, and it seemed for me that the pack weight was pretty good. But for a lot of people, they were saying the pack weight just seemed to be like pretty bad as well. It seemed like it was either you're hot or you're cold. So what I would tell you to do is try some more packs. If it was cold for you yesterday, if it was hot, maybe try a few more, see if you can keep it going. But the fodder is also really good from these Serie A premium packs. There's a lot of walkouts, a lot of 83s and 84s that are in the Serie A. So I'm going to be doing a bunch more of these packs throughout the week this week because I think they're pretty solid. And if I can pack three or four blues in one day, I only built about 15 and 20 of these through the rinse and the, through the recycles. I didn't have too many gold rares. That's uh, that's something that I would rather be going through is hitting the packs when the weight is good as well. So I'm a fan of that. Let me know down in the comments how you guys found these upgrades yesterday. Along with that, of course, we had the 81 times 11, which continuing the pack luck, uh, I think that from the 81 times 11 we've seen over this course of team of the season, this SBC is giving out team of the seasons at a pretty high percentage. Not that insane, but I did see a good amount of people yesterday packing those middle to low tier tots cards like Bremer, Chesney, De Lorenzo, the ones that are kind of annoying, right? But still high rated cards for fodder that uh, are, it's nice to pack team of the seasons and feel like you have a chance at packing them. So I can't complain too much about the pack weight from those Serie A premiums. I would say just try some for you. And uh, if they hit good, if they don't, then maybe you take a break and until a little bit later in the week. Or if you don't want any of these Serie A Tots cards, then maybe you do look towards the end of the week and say, hey, I'm going to stock up as many player picks as possible for ultimate team of the season. Because right now, I believe gold rares, gold non-rares are still really cheap. I don't expect them to rise much this week um, at all. But I think gold non-rares are still like three, not 300, maybe 350 on bid, but they're at least 400 on the market sitting 450 here sitting and gold rares, I believe are still 700 or 750. So not that expensive to make upgrade packs right now. Yeah. 700 there, but basically is the sell, but that's way better than it was last week for league one where they were more expensive. So big W there. Now we did have a player SBC yesterday. It was a little delayed EA with the delayed content recently has been kind of confusing us. We had a Labatka SBC. It's cheap to do. Not much to talk about with this one there. I was hoping for Milinkovic Savage, and we still could get that Millie Savage SBC. It is leaked. There's like a number of outstanding SBCs that we haven't gotten yet. Maybe we're going to get a player SBC every single day this week. I hope that's the case. But this one, the biggest dub about it is that it's four-star, four-star, medium, high. It's only one SBC to get done. You can put them around your Serie A Cup team if you're playing that, and uh, maybe you put some duplicate fodder in there. But there's not too too much to talk over with that because that SBC isn't making too many waves. It's just a W because it is cheap and a nice midfielder in the Serie A. But if you just want a nice midfielder, Tonali is pretty good as well uh, off of the market. So not a bad SBC there, but it is what it is. Uh, and then the big thing yesterday, and this is kind of the reason for the title of the video and really what I want to talk about for a bit today. I don't want to just, and I want to talk about it for too long, but this objective, right? It's such a good concept and the idea behind this we really really like it it's really cool at least i do the only problem is like we have we have like the cup we've got draft there's so many gameplay modes to grind right now this is the type of objective that we would like i know that it fits because the champions league final is coming up but this is the type of objective we need when the content is stale right something to grind 
in friendlies when there's not much to do. But another friendly mode, right? It is the uh, ECL one, I forget what it's even called. Uh, but you have to use a certain number of players in here, right? It's called the ECL Play Like a Pro Cup, and it's all around the E Champions League. And this is, again, a really cool idea, and it's good rewards for an easy grind. But the problem is the requirements in this team. You have to use three UCL Road to the Final, UCL Man of the Match, or UCL Road to the Knockout Players. And this was not updated just in, until a couple hours ago. It said, like, Player Group 12, so it was confusing who was in it. So you're going to have three of those. You have to have three of those. And you also have to have a maximum of three heroes and I icons in this friendly mode and of course ea requiring three road to the knockouts man of the match or um road to the finals cards guess what is going up on the market and actually now a lot of these guys are extinct yes it is these road to, it is these road to the final cards the cheapest road to the final on the market right now is a hundred and thirty nine thousand coins for Wesley Fofana, if you take a look at the cheapest Road to the Knockouts card, it's like Pierre Emerick Aubameyang's. I think he's like 180k, 186,000 coins for Valverde. He's the cheapest card right now. So EA makes this SBC or this objective really expensive to complete if you don't have any of these guys in your clubs. You can only use one lone player. So the problem that I have with this, and this is EA's biggest flaw here, is if they're going to require Road to the Knockouts, Road to the Finals, and these types of cards in this game. They've got to up the price ranges. They've got to up the price ranges on these cards. If you guys remember last year doing footies, the footies for Mendy SBC required some of these older out-of-pack special cards. They didn't upgrade the price ranges for those, and they all went extinct, and people couldn't complete the SBC. It's the same situation here where EA requires these cards, but then makes them unattainable on the market because they don't increase the price ranges. And a lot of these guys, 55,000 coins for Raspadori. I bought a Forsberg yesterday at 20K right when this was dropped. I can only sell them for 30k right now, right? And of course, you see the cheapest road to the final card is 100,000 coins. If these guys had price ranges of all 100,000 coins, the cheapest player uh, on the market would not be that expensive. There'd be a lot more players out there that you could get and that you could afford to build a team. And there is a way to get around this. I want to talk about that in a second, but that's where I'm just troubled with this. And that's why I'm annoyed. And I think this is a big flaw from EA is Price ranges on this game have been a problem since they got released. And we talk about it from time to time during the year. But the fact that these price ranges do not upgrade like almost instantaneously is a big issue because especially when they're requiring stuff like this or if EA, they knew they were going to drop this, right? So a week ahead of time, up all the price ranges on Road to the Final Cards uh, up to like 100K or something like that. And most of us would not notice and think to invest in that sort of thing. It's not like we're going to make a ton of coins off of that until the, uh, this is actually dropped and we see the requirements needed. Um, but it just allows people to actually get the objective done. So many people I've seen comments on YouTube videos and people that have come in the stream say, man, how do I get this objective done how am i going to do this i don't have three four hundred thousand coins laying around to go buy these cards to put in my club you know that's the problem here so that's why ea i think you got to do better with this and it's a really big flaw that price ranges don't upgrade fast enough or that you think ahead of time to upgrade some price ranges now i know what some of you guys are thinking as well you can use man of the match cards and man of the match cards are not that expensive i did tweet about this yesterday kind of just kind of posting what was going on if you find these cards and here's another flaw from ea sports there's no card design in game where you can search by the specific ucl man and match card design in the menus of fifa it's literally not even there even though the cards exist this is some not even all but some of the uefa man of the match cards and they have to be ucl they can't be europa league i know i said uefa there but i mean ucl it cannot be conference league or europa league it's got to be the champions league card so a lot of these guys are still on the market. Like if you take a look at Zeko, he's still 24K on the market. I think Barella might be 28 to 30,000 coins on the market as well. And uh, these guys are definitely there and you can buy them. It's way cheaper and way easier to get either one of those uh, man of the match road to the knockouts or road to the final cards. Those man of the match cards are a lot easier to go ahead and get. So that's kind of the thing that's going on there. It is a cool objective again, but I just think that it's EA, man. EA have these problems with this stuff that just make it a lot more annoying and a lot more difficult than it needs to be. But you do get some good rewards in here. At the very end, I missed it at, at the beginning. You get an 84 plus times 7 for basically winning 8 games in this friendly mode. It's out for 11 days, so really you can win 1 game a day or less. So that's really nice. And uh, yeah, you're going to be using different teams because it's kind of the same requirements almost. as like the pro player requirements because I'm pretty sure they can only have three max icons and heroes 
in uh, starting 11 as well for those games. I don't know the pro requirements too much, but that's what some people were saying uh, in the stream. And also about this, I completely missed it. Take this card as a, a pinch of salt, but the winner of the E-Champions League will be able to work with EA to create their own custom player SBC. So that was evidently in that in-game pop-up message that came up yesterday when this objective was dropped. So that's really, really cool. Um, I don't think we've had anything like that almost ever in FIFA. So that's really cool. We'll be looking forward to seeing that drop. And uh, it kind of makes me want to tune in just a little bit more uh, to these uh, where you get the live viewership rewards and turning tuning into that competition uh, in the upcoming days. I think it was June 7th uh, is when that was going to be released. So that's a lot, probably too much about that objective mode, but really it's a big mistake from EA. They got to be better with that uh, because right now people are not able to complete that because cards are unattainable on the market. So speaking of the market, let's transition into what is going on with this game right now. Of course, yesterday we had more top tier prices dropping. Uh, Militao got really low for the team of the year card. I was taking a look at the Pedri card. I bought these Pedris at 1.16. He went down even lower. A lot of your TOTS cards were once again falling in price. Team of the Season Mbappe went from about 10 million coins all the way down to, um, he was 8 point something. It's like 8.2K. He's back up a little bit, right? You had that fluctuation off of the rarity. You had that a lot yesterday with the Pedri that I mentioned. Pedri is, oh my goodness, he's back up to 1.4 mil almost. So I sold Pedri a little bit too early, but it's so tough to gauge when to sell these cards. It's actually 1.3 mil, not 1.4. But, you know, you can absolutely try to trade with some of these cards. Guys, these are not uh, at their lowest prices. These cards, in my opinion, will continue to drop the closer and closer that we get. If we start to get leaks for ultimate team of the season, if we get a loading screen tomorrow, that's the sort of stuff that could really continue to impact these cards. So I'm not buying them very much at all. Just maybe quick flipping and that's about it. So be very careful with any of those top tier team of the season because they are still on their way down and there's probably still more drops to come there. Just risky right now. Serie A team of season cards. I want to talk about these for a little bit in today's video as well because there's big potential. These cards could drop today. Yeah, on Tuesday, right? We're getting a guaranteed um, TOTS pack for Liga Portugal, not for the Serie A today. But today is the refresh day of that 15K store player pick that was dropped on Friday that just mudded all of these cards in the first place so watch out for today i'm not saying it's going to refresh but the timer expires i've opened them also it's not there but the timer expires for those 15k Serie A player picks today the tradable ones they could come back at the content drop today if they do that's going to mean even more price drops of course for your Serie A team of the season cards which for me is i'm going to stay away from all of these guys today on this game, wait and see what happens with the content and then go from there. Even if they're not re-released today, as long as we don't see a ton of huge panic selling before the content today, the lowest point with these cards might be later tonight on Tuesday and maybe into tomorrow on Wednesday, um, depending on what we see with the leaks and loading screen lag. But this is probably a team with ultimate team of the season upcoming that I'm really not going to invest in apart from maybe a quick flip or two. And I'm not going to touch on the market, especially what's our rule, right? We don't touch the TOTS cards in packs from Monday after content until Wednesday morning or maybe late Tuesday night. I'm not touching them until maybe late tonight. I didn't touch any of them yesterday besides a quick morning flip on the Dybala's, right? Dybala had a decent rise like we were expecting him to. Um, but other than that, not going to touch them. So if that player pick drops today, they will definitely be going down further in price. And if we take a look at the fodder part of the market as well, you did see a bit of a rise yesterday, but not that much of a rise. And again, we mentioned it in yesterday's video as well, the player picks. The player picks really have a big impact on how much fodder rises because you've got people able to pack 83s and 84s a lot easier uh, than they would be able to without that. So obviously you're getting people that are getting those fodder cards uh, from those player picks. Although 8K for 85s, yesterday those were at 9,000 coins. I think 85s can go up to about 9.5 to 10k with the 81 times 11 requiring the 85s and if we do get a player spc today um, that also could mean fodder could go a little bit higher today than it did yesterday so we'll be watching out for that if you want to do a bit of a club stock i think the 83s 84s and 85s once again are the place to go 85s maybe have the potential best return on investment since they were required uh, although today with 83s and 84s probably being more required inside of the Liga Portugal guaranteed. Um, that could be a place you go as well, or maybe just do a quick club stock. It's not going to be a ton of coins. You're not going to make bank, but you know, you could make a few 
thousand coins. If you stock your trance list, you might make 30, 40, 50 K. Who knows if you're making like six to 700, maybe a thousand coins a card. It just depends right on the content that they dropped today. Now, speaking of league of Portugal guaranteed, probably going to be very cheap. Pedro Gonçalves, of course, the most expensive player on the team. Everybody else is less than 75 K. This SBC has got to be 20 K to do guys. It needs to be an 83 rated squad. It's got to be dirt cheap. So hopefully they do that today. That might just be a fun one to do just to try it out. Just in case you do get Pedro Gonçalves, but watch his card today and watch maybe Gonzalo Ramos uh, as the two most desirable cards that are in this team. As people want to buy them, they may go up a little bit after the guaranteed, but that's always a part of Tuesday content. And then, of course, we got that potential player species still looming, right? Cordoba, Milinkovic, Savage, and um the eusebio and we still have not seen any of those sbcs yet in fact cordoba's fantasy foot hero card is up he was like 350 330,000 coins he's up to almost 400,000 coins now i really think it's because the sbc has not dropped yet and people need those siri uh links so keep an eye out for that today if that does drop of course that would be nice but i don't know man i don't know what it is with the player sbcs it's just this team of the season the player sbcs have been okay but not too many of them besides a few have really like hit different. And we've got so many other player SBCs that are still out right now. I just can't see it being a really crazy SBC today, but who knows? Maybe EA, EA have some different plans. And then other than that, the one thing I will tell you guys as well, a lot of you guys are asking about XP, only two days to go on this. I will tell you this, and this is something I've kind of forgot to mention before. Make sure you play your games every day. Score three goals and play one game. You get 40 XP for that, 40 for scoring three goals. And then if you complete both of those, you get another 50. So if you're down like a thousand XP or a couple hundred XP from getting away from level 30, make sure you're getting those games in each and every day because that is just another 130 XP between those two and the uh, 50 bonus for completing the whole daily objective that you get. And that'll help you get to that level 30 mode. I just got to buckle down here and do basically silver stars right quick uh, to win three and I'll be done with it. So that's kind of all that I have to do to get that done or maybe do like the cup or something because I haven't started that as well. But I'm going to do my level 30 probably today or tomorrow. I'll get the player pick. We're going to go for it. But if you're saving the pack for level 30, I know some of you guys are saving the pack for ultimate team this season. That is not a bad shout at all either i would continue to say watch the fodder market though guys and one little tip i will give you too is we talked about some of those informs yesterday keep an eye on those informs but keep an eye on 88 89s because they went up right these guys all went up on saturday when the icon player pick dropped remember this we had the uh ruben diaz go from 14k all the way to 18 19k these guys are back down to 15. And uh, this icon player picks refreshing on Thursday. We'll talk about that later on during the week, unless EA changed the timer. Thursday is the refresh date. If these guys go back down to, I don't know, 14K, I would go back in because usually as we get into ultimate team of the season and beyond, that is when the photo market starts to recover pretty well, especially when you know the promo that is coming after team of the season. It was just leaked yesterday. Our way too early leak for our next promo is shape shifters now again we take it with a pinch of salt but this is what happened last year as well we went from straight out of team of the season in ultimate team of the season right into shape shifters and it was a four week promo shape shifter was really long we'll talk a lot about this in the future of course this is still a ways away but shape shifters is our next promo again it's all about the position changes the huge boosts the skill moves the weak foot upgrades and all the cards this is where last year stuff really got started to get summertime crazy in FIFA. So maybe we'll start to see some big end of an era SBCs released as well. It's a big topic of discussion at the moment. Could those be released during Ultimate Tots? Could those be released during Shapeshifters? Who really knows? But we're excited to see that promo coming. At least I'm excited to see Shapeshifters. That always brings some really good content. I think Summer Heat would be a promo that would come out after that a little bit later in the summer if you're wondering about that because we have talked about the Summer Heat potential later on this summer as well. So that's the video for today, guys. If you want to drop it in the stream, we'll be live opening those guaranteed League of Portugal upgrades today, opening upgrade packs really quick as well. I did finish Weekend League already, finished it yesterday. And if you were in the stream, it was it was hard. I was eight and two, finished 11 wins and uh, didn't want to go any above that. I won those last three games, but lost like three or four in the process as well. Gifted the rest of the wins and was very lucky to pick up a Red Di Maria. Already had the blue version, but also very lucky to pick out a Lautaro 
Martinez. So I'm excited for that. That was some really, really good rewards there. I have not opened the rest of my packs yet because I have a duplicate Tots card I'm on assigned that I need to go and put in this 90 icon player pick that will open probably today on stream as well. But if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below your thoughts on that ECL objective, thoughts on the market, anything you got going on right now, drop it in the comments. And of course, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button. It's been Nate the Foot Account. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace out.